Hey, welcome to my journey into another mini planning grocery haul. This week, such an easy week. I only got one new recipe, and it's an easy recipe. So, <laughs> um, not much else to say. We'll just jump on into it. So, for the day, I thought when I made this that I had a sausage and egg left from prep, but I don't. So, I bought some liver mush for the next two days, and when I get through doing that, you know, whatever I need to do here. I think that's what I'm going to have. And then I do have some chili left for lunch. For supper, I'm going to do some air fried pork rind coated chicken and cabbage that I have left and was going to be butternut squash, but I had to make a substitution at the store. So it's going to be yellow squash. Then for Thursday, I'm going to do some 90 second keto bread. You just make it in a mug and liver mush. I'll have any recipes that are already on my website linked below and then for lunch i don't know what i'm going to do i just put on the fly because i couldn't think of anything but i'll find something that's got some protein in it and then this is my new recipe it's called chuck wagon special it's kind of like a glorified baked bean with hamburger in it so it's not really protein forward but it sounded good N nice little you know something tasty and we like beans and beans i'm not going to um quit eating beans because they're high in um, carbs because they're good carbs and they're full of fiber and all kind of good stuff and we like beans and sweet potatoes friday the same breakfast and the same on the fly lunch and the supper is going to be chicken and y'all know when i say chicken that just means however i feel like making it when the time comes Individual macaroni and cheese. I'm going to make both of them for David. I came up with it um, when we were doing Nutrisystem. It's my baked macaroni and cheese. And I just whittled the recipe down to fit in these two little um, cast iron enamel coated cast iron Dutch ovens. Little little small things. And it, they fit perfectly. So I'm going to make both of them for him. One for supper at home and one to take with him to work. And some air, excuse me, air fryer green beans, which are just... Um, a frozen meal. You just pop them in the air fryer. And then for Saturday, I'm going to do prep and prep. And for supper, we're going to have Big Mac tacos. Hold on just a minute. I am sorry. I was getting the dry tickle going on back there. Sunday, prep and prep. And for supper, we have buffalo chicken nachos because I have some um, of the thin corn tortillas that need to be used up. We had them for something. I can't remember what. And they need to be used before they go bad. And I thought nachos is the perfect thing to make my own chips because I like to do that. And I thought buffalo chicken sounded good. So then for snack, if we eat early enough, I thought while we're watching the race, if David's not doing something, I'll make some apple nachos. And then for Monday, prep and prep. And I'm going to do hobo supper. I don't know why I like to do that on Monday. That just seems like the day. Well, I think because when I would do meatless Monday. But I'm going to add chicken to, to it um, this week. So I'll have some protein other than just the beans. So it, it's pinto beans, fried taters, and onions, and greens. And in the old days, cornbread. But since we're staying away from that kind of carb, no cornbread. And Tuesday, prep and prep. For supper, country style steak in the crock pot. Some cream potatoes for David and, oh, green beans. No, not green beans. Um, what did I get? Oh, broccoli and cheeks. Then for my prep, I am tired of these egg dishes. I have eaten them for so long. I was sitting over there thinking, what can I cook for breakfast that ain't? built up with eggs you know so i'm like cottage cheese i'll make cottage cheese bowls i thought that sounded good so i'm gonna just do some cottage cheese bowls sweet ones um but i'm gonna go ahead and mix them up so they'll be ready and then lunch pound droppers skinny sweet and sour chicken which i've made before it's on my website just because i think i made a couple changes and and then i just linked to a recipe so that is it um this week I have um, four store, well, three stores, four trips actually, because I went the tail end of the sale for Harris Teeter and Food Line, and then I got that done before I did my menu, which is what I should have been doing all along instead of waiting for the sale to come out, and it's too late because I like to have my menu done before the sales come out 
and I know what's on sale. This way, I could build my menu around what's on sale. I don't know why that's never crossed my mind before, but anyway, I have Harris Teeter and Food Line, and then I have Walmart and another Food Line. So that's what you're fixing to see coming up. So we'll just turn around and look at it. So here is a uh, Harris Teeter and a Food Line haul that I went. Today is Monday. They have some things that are going to go off sale that I needed to pick up. So I got David his um, diet ocean spray juice that he likes so good. They had these buy one get one free. It was a really good deal. They come out to a dollar and a quarter a piece. So I got him one of each flavor. So he got cran mango, cran cherry, cran pineapple, cran grape, cran raspberry, uh oh, cran pomegranate, and this must be just cranberry. And then they had their sweet baby rays buy two, get three free. And so I think they come out to be a dollar sixty cents a piece. Anyway, I got this Hawaiian style barbecue sauce. I've never seen that before. And none of these are sugar free. So then I got Ray's chicken sauce. It says a sweet and smoky sauce made for chicken. I thought that sounded good. And a garlic parmesan sauce that I thought would be good on wings. And then two of our mild um, buffalo sauce is that's that's what I needed and so I thought well let me look at the sale papers and lo and behold it was on sale so that's that's what prompted me to go ahead and do that's gonna be like my new thing then at food line these were not on sale but I, I wanted them on hand so there's the zero sugar chocolate and um, yellow cake mix with the zero sugar vanilla and chocolate then they had these no sugar added little pies. They were on sale for a dollar. So I got one of each for each of us. So there's two blueberry, two apple, and two cherry. And if um, we don't get them eight, it says by six, five. So, I mean, we're not going to eat all these, I don't think, in that many days. I will just throw them in the freezer. And then this is why I went to Food Line for their hamburger. It's the 80-20, which does not bother me. Um, when I fry it up, I just suck the grease out of it anyway <laughs> so each one of them average price three dollars depending on the weight for a pound of hamburger so to me that's a good deal so i got five of those and then i wanted to look for some chicken marked down and what because you know this nature's promise is our favorite chicken they had these chicken strips chicken tenders whatever you want to call them and they're almost half price. And I got one, two, three, four, five, six. These will be used just like regular breast. I'll cube them if I need to cube them. I'll make strips if I need to make strips. I'll cook them and shred them if I need to shred them. And then if I just need a breast I'm going to cook, I'll just cook, cook, a, cook a tender. So there you go. That is my food line and Harris Teeter haul. Okay, here is my little Walmart. I got my almond milk and then, of course, my... Regular half and half and my fat-free half and half that I mix. And David wanted the um, turkey bacon. It is the 45, yep, 45 calories a slice. Five grams of protein and that one slice of bacon. And then I'm doing the cottage cheese bowls. And this has, where is it? Half a cup, 110 calories, five carbs, and... 13 grams of protein, so that is awesome. And then I needed some more ground mustard and some more Parmesan cheese and then some things for the cabinet, some pork and beans, which I'm actually using this week, and some pinto beans and some candy beans and some corn. And then I got some navy beans because that's what David wanted last week. And I didn't have any dried ones. I have every other dried bean known to man. I did not have any dried navy beans, so I thought I better get those. And then he wanted some um, hash brown patties this week. And I needed to restock my skeddy sauce. And we like this. I'm sure it has sugar in it. Let's see. Three added sugars, which I'm not worried about. Um, 60 calories for half a cup. No more 
scary than I eat anymore that I don't get much. And then I needed some green, so I got a collard green and a turnip green. And then David's bread and the La Banderita carb counter for um, something. Oh, the Big Mac tacos. That's right. Okay, so coming up next will be food line. And here is my little food line. Boy, eggs are really coming down. These were less than $3. And then here's my liver mush. Um, in case you're wondering, oh, if I can read that, let's see. Two ounces is 80 calories, eight carbs minus two fibers, and five grams of protein. So that is my liver mush. And then I have some produce. I have some squash because they were out of butternut squash. So I said it was okay to substitute regular yellow squash. And then some honey crisp apples and some green onions. And they actually had the broccoli in the bag, which I love because I don't like to mess with broccoli if I don't have to. And instead of a big old bag of taters for Monday, I just thought we would just use the little ones. That's way plenty. And then a red pepper and a green pepper for my sweet and sour chicken. And I thought I'd get some raspberries for um, my cottage, cottage cheese and some more bananas. And then David wanted some of his little favorite frozen dinners. These turkey tenderloins with the um, mashed sweet potato. He really likes those. And this was a substitution because I wanted the small bag. And I said it was okay to do the bigger one if they were out. So apparently they were out. But that's it. That's my small little food line haul. And that will do it for me today. I hope you're having a good hump day. And I will see you on my next video.